gas holes are, are all, almost always internal, almost always round in appearance. And usually they're very localized. They're usually based on, on metal turbulence, uh, either, either something coming down the, the down sprue or something leaking in at some point in the gating system. Uh, they're almost always related to some form of metal turbulence. Depending on how fast the uh, tilt pour is operating, uh, it may hit bottom, cause turbulence in the bottom and the before it goes into casting. How would somebody, uh, you know, anybody that's on today or, or anybody that has that type of question, is there a, uh, a science to, uh, you know, helping get that gas out? Is that slowing down the, the, the tilt pour? Is that um, on the molten metal side? A lot of it's to do with the, the, the runners and the gating, okay. uh, slowing, the, slowing the velocity down or speeding it up, depending on what you want. Okay. It's tried to get like a lamellar flow. You, you don't want the metal tumbling out of that, out of the, the bottom of your gating system. You want it flowing out of the gating system. And that's it, and maybe more of not a technical term. It's just if you picture what you're trying to do, you're trying to avoid that tumbling and, and the, the, uh, the chaos at the bottom of your sprue. You want it to come out of there in a smooth manner. Yeah, and this is just a picture in the microstructure as, you know, uh, as opposed to a cut section looking at the holes or an x-ray that we just saw on the last slide. And, and, and it looks very, very similar to, to hydrogen porosity, which we'll talk about later. But the key is, as Ernie just said, it's localized. You know, it's gonna be in the area where the turbulence is. If it's hydrogen, it's, it's something in a melt and it's gonna be throughout the whole the, the, the whole uh, casting. So, so if you, you know, you're not going to be able to fix an issue unless you can identify it. So what's, you know, that's why we're talking about the different types of porosity and the different characteristics. 